Good morning to you on this Saturday morning. Our psalm today is Psalm 113. The Lord exalts the humble. Praise the Lord. Praise those servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations. His glory is above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high? Who humbles himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes, with the princes of his people. He makes the barren women abide in the house as a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and for evermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we should be praising the name of the Lord. We should be spending as much time as possible in our day praising and worshipping and thanking God. Paul tells us in his letter to the Thessalonians to pray without ceasing. It doesn't mean that we can walk around all day with our head bowed praying. But in our spirit, we can be in constant communication with the Lord, constantly thanking Him and praising Him and glorifying His name, remembering that we are nothing apart from Him. And that's what keeps us humble when we remember that even the very air we breathe is a gift from Him. The fact that our heart keeps beating is because of Him. So we should be continually thanking Him and praising Him and blessing His name. As we look out at creation, we see the works of His hands the marvels that he has created, the wonders of his creation. And we should be thanking him and blessing him and praising him. The Lord is high above all nations. His glory is above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God who is enthroned on high? Nobody. Nobody is like him. He is worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. He is above all things. All things are in his hands. So let us today spend as much time as possible thanking and praising and worshiping God who is the King of Kings. Let us praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forever, from the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Let's do that right now. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we praise your name. We praise the name of the Lord. We bless you. We thank you. We worship you. We glorify you. We thank you for your love, which is incredible. We thank you for your mercies, which are new every morning. We thank you, Lord, for your amazing grace. We thank you that you have loved us with an everlasting love. Help us to love you. As we begin this day, Lord, we make it a commitment today to praise you all day long. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may your name be glorified in and through us. Let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. May we, Lord, bring glory and honor to your name and the things that we do, the things that we say, the way that we treat people. We pray for your blessing over this day. We pray, Lord, for all who are sick and are dying and in need. We pray that you would lay your hand upon them. We pray, Lord, that those who exalt themselves would realize that it means that they will fall. So let them humble themselves, that you may exalt them. We choose to be humble. We humble ourselves. We realize that apart from you, we can do nothing. So we just commit all to you. We Offer ourselves to you anew today, Lord, as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you. And we pray that you take us by the hand and lead us. Hear us now as we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray that today you have a wonderful day. Remember to praise the Lord often from the rising of the sun to its setting. Take time when you see something beautiful. Take time when you remember what God has done for you to just quietly, in your spirit, say, Thank you, Lord. I bless you. I praise you. Have a wonderful day. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow. For our service, some of you here at the church and the rest of you here online. God bless.